Hey, what's up, dudes? Kublik on here. Welcome back to Fallout 4 Survival Ghoul Child of Adam Play. Yeah, that was a lot harder to get out than normal, but look at this beautiful day. The way the light is streaming through the restaurant. The little fuzziness on the windows because of the graphics, but here's something cool. Look at this shadow on the ground. Ah, oh, yes, dynamic lighting. So natural and so hard to program because... Well, light, when you're normally programmed, it comes through the sky and it hits surfaces. But technically, in here, the light's not hitting, right? It bounces around. Well, somebody had to program or animate or draw in, I'm not exactly sure which, depending on how they used to do it versus which game, because it's it changes over time, of course. Bounces around and it illuminates everything. And it's just, it looks so great, that shadow. And look how the door lights up when it's now in the light, and then it's darkened when it's not. It's great. It's really good. Now, we're looking for a bed, because I need a place to save, and that would be nice. Also, I'm a cannibal now, and I crave a different type of food. And it constantly remind reminds me of this, but I'm actually not hungry right now. I just crave dead people. Well, that's good, because here's a dead person now. Anybody here to see me do this? Not really. Well, no, 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 no! Wow, I'm going down to town. I uh, didn't know that about you, our child of Adam Ghoul. You succumb to a dark craving. Now, this keeps track of this somewhere, doesn't it? In, like, the data, I think? Stats? General? Okay, food eating, radex, cams, fusion cores, that kind of thing. Bobbleheads. I think it's in crime, right? No, I've murdered three people, though, apparently. That doesn't seem like our character. Apparently, we can explode pants. You see that? Pants exploded. Zero. Corpses eat in three. There we go. Pants are from the, uh, if you put a bomb into someone's pocket, and then they walk away and kaboom. So, well, I'm, gonna, I'm not gonna eat you, I'm full. You know, I gotta, don't wanna eat too much, because then if I get in a fight, and then I'll just, blah, and I don't wanna just blah, I don't wanna just blah somebody's liver that I just had, so let's, let's avoid that to the best that we can. I think something comes out of this. Disappointment, that's what comes out of that. Okay, uh, let's see. We're still moving our way to what's in here. I'll take some shotgun shells. So we're still moving our way to Diamond City. We're in a very comfortable location. Still looking for... I'll take... You know, I'm always taking any bottles now. Totally worth it for the purified water. But beds. Beds, beds, beds. That's what we're interested in. And while we're looking for beds, I have something to talk about. This is a personal, one of my little fun, going off in a direction stuff. So I want to first talk about how I was watching... Game Grumps today. Good show. Highly recommend you guys give it a look-see. And Game Grumps were talking about the differences between sympathy and empathy. And what is this? I've never been in the subway. We're not going in the subway because I don't know what's down there. We're gonna... That is a sweet head thing. Wow. I'll take the wine, though. Uh, these Gwyn... Uh, there's stouts. Okay, I don't really want them. Hold on, let's go towards the direction of the head. All right, side story being put on the on the side for a moment. Back burner. I'm hearing shooting in this direction too. I don't see any bombs or anything. I know I crave a different kind of food. I just ate it. Oh, those are the super mutants. They're probably fighting the protection for Diamond City. You know, amazingly, I'm not getting hit by any radiation as I'm doing this. I really appreciate that. That is really epic. That like head mount. And also, I really like the red that's going on here. This red tile. I think that's pretty. Whoa! Oh, it's a traitor! Somebody who I'm not gonna just immediately kill. Can I borrow your bed? Oh, I can! You're the greatest! Oh, I crave a different kind of food. You're looking good, but I'm not gonna eat you. There's plenty of people. Oh, man. Can you imagine what happens if I get to a point where I have to eat somebody? Because I'm hungry? I mean, so far we've been okay, right? Just eating whatever. But... That's, that's gonna be interesting. Ahem. Best scrap in the Commonwealth, right here. Let's do it. Let's see what you got. Holy crap, look at those stim packs. 40. I'm not dropping stim packs that quickly, so I can sell, you know, f four more comfortably. Yeah. I can do that. I can do that just fine. Okay, so we got our character who's nice and purchased. Oh, I want to see what she says Let's when trade. I go, what's new? Anything been happening around here? Not really. Let's get back to talking about all these great items I have for sale. Pushing the hard sell. Not well, now. I'm not interested. Get out of here. You're starting to look delicious, too. <laughs> I 
So I once again immediately after I said that I was like why is everything I'm saying just sounds like the, what the creepy guy says when he sees someone he's attracted to I'm like uh like so what's up beautiful or you're looking delicious now I mean in a literal I'm gonna eat you sense but why is it better for me to be like I'm literally going to eat her alive than from a creepy guy stance man Raider psycho more food uh oh fighting time holy uh uh fire 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 Woo! Heals! Woo. Uh oh, uh oh, uh oh, uh oh, uh oh! I just saved, which is really good, but uh oh! Okay, now we can eat some people, and that's gonna really help in the healing process. Uh, nom, 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 nom. I love it! How much health do we get back for doing this? I can't tell. Mm. Alright, so we got a little- here's a good way to do this. So, we have a little healing going on. Let's, uh, eat this guy, too. God, they're delicious, but they're very bloody after you do this. Okay, it looks like we get a huge jump in health when we do this. Quick, powerful pipe pistol. Using 38 rounds. Not exactly what we need right now. Uh, I guess we'll eat this guy, too. You know, and they don't come with any radiation, which is kind of nice. But it seems to that there is a really interesting trade-off when you start eating people. Zero radiation food. You don't need to cook it anymore. But now you have to kill people to eat. One thing that's an like another to note about killing people to eat them situation is that people don't respond as quickly anymore, right? So does that mean I'm going to have to be killing off people to just feed like more often? Like I'll have to go out and hunt in different places? I mean, I feel like I could definitely kill one dude and then leave him be and not worry too much after killing that one dude. Oh, speaking of one dude, B! <laughs> Pen, duct tape, nice, and I'll take that adjustable. Nothing really else in here. Okay, there's something real nearby that's popping up on the map and I want it. Oh! What the? More lunch! More lunch! Critical for you. Yeah, because by the time we're done with this vats thing, I bet we'll have a critical back because of how quickly this gun brings criticals. We actually kill- Oh, hey -oh. We actually killed them before they had the chance to- to do that. <gasps> Wait, can I- can I- I can't eat corpses, okay? Or excuse me, I can't eat powdered corpses. That's an important thing to t make note of. Hey, level 13! That's pretty nice, too. You know- we're kind of taking our time, not exactly going straight to where we need to go, but I think that's fine. I'm cool with that. Fusion cell, man, there's some good stuff. Now, this enamel chess piece is actually a little worse than what we have currently, because we got that perk. Eat the corpse. Currently, it looks like I just bashed my head into the car, and I'm eating out of the truck's engine. But that's fine. You know, I'm really curious how this is going to go gameplay wise in the case of what we're gonna have to do with eating and the like there we go backstreet apparel used to be oh wait hold on hold on hold on hold on not just jet mentats rocket launcher carrying too much i just wanted to get rid of that and also i'm gonna drop because you don't want that to shoot you right like that's a that's on the no-no of things that might launch into your face we're gonna drop that we're also gonna drop the missiles that come with it remember that you get stuff a lot of times now when you're playing these. So, there we go. Ammo. Shotgun shell. Oh, this one didn't come with any missiles. Interesting. Okay, well, let's not worry about that then. Now, we, we could go in here, which we've actually been in here before on camera. I'll take that leather. Thank you. And some bases. Why not? Those are heavy. Why would I want those? Anyway, uh, heading back to Diamond City. I think this makes a good, good choice. It's going to be safe. Plenty of salespeople. Lots of things we can upgrade. We also have a level up, which is nice. I'm not sure what to level up, though. If we just take a moment to look... I mean, we could do more scrap scrounger, which I kind of want to do more scrounger for the sake of that it's going to be... Level 17, huh? And it's going to be... Not, you know what? Awareness. I'm going to take awareness. That way, we can see how our enemies are, and I've never done that before. Coffee cup? Ooh, espresso. Rounds and money. Hmm. Every time I... Gotta get that sleeping bag. The game just wants to remind me all the time that I crave a different type of food. I think like, is 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 that just so I don't forget? Are they worried that I'll forget that I, I'm now eating people? 
Which honestly, that's not entirely off point because I did forget that I was eating people for a long time. Uh, beer bottle, I'll take that. Oh, good, she kept her uh, cat picture. Nice, well, let me just put that there. Let's get some more beer bottles so we can get some, collect some more water. Another teddy bear of leather, nice. And that teddy bear, too heavy. Now remember, the shotgun shells are actually heavy in the fact that they you only get about a pound, uh, or excuse me, 10 caps per pound of carrying those. And that's uh, that's not exactly worth it in the scheme. I think all am other ammunition's better. Maybe not for nukes and things, but most of the time other all other am ammunition is better. And I am carrying other things like junk-wise that aren't as good, but junk is so useful in the case that it's going to be able to either get me water, damn it, it's gonna get me water, or it's gonna be nice because it's also gonna get me, you know, a better weapon of some kind. Okay, I picked up a 10 millimeter pistol because I wanted to get that extra ammo. Ooh, fusion cells. So, I, uh, I was going off on this discussion about sympathy and empathy. The important things to remember, know about this is that sympathy means that you feel sorry for someone. And in a way, you actually kind of agree and relate to their problem. So if you feel sympathy for somebody who lost to their girlfriend, you're like, that sucks, I'm sorry about that. Not overweight. Oh, we could get some of the, hold on. Hold on, can we wear, is this armor? You know, the helmet is not necessarily better. You know, we're actually pretty good. We don't necessarily need their armor mitts. We're pretty good in that regard. Okay, never mind, guys. I know there's some, uh, like a chest up here too that could be nice. Um, anyway, so that means like you're, you feel bad for the individual who has to deal with whatever that particular thing is. So let's say I feel bad because lucky leather right leg, hells yeah. That's a sweet drop to find. This is already coming across to be a very difficult discussion. So we talk sympathy. Here's my example. You lost your girlfriend. I feel bad. I sympathize for you. So you're able to relate, you know, in a way like, ah, that sucks. Now, however, let's say I've never lost a girlfriend. Okay. Like, or I've never broken up with a girl. So in a way it's like, okay, I've never done it. Let's say I'm gay, for example. And someone's like, oh, I lost this person. It's like, oh, I can kind of empathize with that, but I can't actually, you know, which means like, you know, this is actually not as good of an example, but I'll explain it deeper. Uh, which basically is trying to say, I can put myself in your shoes and imagine what it's like, but I don't necessarily go, oh, I feel sorry for you. I forget that we have this rad stag here to increase our carry weight. So now I don't even have, and it lasts for so long. Now it's not even like, oh, be careful. Now it's just like, ah, grab whatever the hell you want. Sighted, oh, what? like rifle? That's probably gonna work really well to add onto our gun here. The metal chest piece, don't mind if I do. Anyway. So let me go back to the tread empathy, sympathy situation. Basically, you can be sympathetic to people because you feel sorry for them, but being sympathetic to them doesn't necessarily mean you agree with their standpoint on, or excuse me, sympathetic means you kind of agree with them. Like if you're sympathetic to someone's cause, then you, you want that cause to succeed. You like, you your heart goes out to the cause for it to su have success. So. If I sympathize with you for losing your girlfriend or boyfriend, that's a response to me going, horrible man, microbiome, whatever. That's me going, all right, that is sad. I sympathize with that. I know how it feels. That's, oh God, we're by a bad guy. It's like, that's bad. I, uh, damn. Okay, they're gonna have to come through this door. I'm, I'm just stuck and confused and scared. Oh, I see him now. So. Let's, uh, let's get through this guy. You know, hold on, ow! Okay, he's actually not hurting us that badly. I'm shooting, oh God, it's a dog! Oh, oh time to just run. Uh, mine, 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 please open. Thank you! Oh, it only hit the leg! Throw another mine! There he is, I see him. Oh! Oh, uh, how can I talk about sympathy and empathy in a moment like this? Oh, oh. God damn. Who the hell just shot me? All right, this guy, here we go. He has less protection to laser. So we're gonna hit him with a laser. Man, this guy's really powerful. But hey, we're, we're breaking him down really well. Good long shooting. Boom. Yeah, that worked out pretty well. 
Fortunately, I can't eat you to show you how... And I'm carrying too much to run. Alright, let's just get the hell out of here. Turns out I can go down there. Let's just get the hell out of here. Get to Diamond City. I've never been in this area before. I don't know what's going on over here. There's water stuff. There's just... It's scary. And there's suiciders running from small alleyways. Okay. Back into safety. We've gone through the turret protection. We have a guard. Great. We're going to go ahead and talk to Piper. Whew. Better head inside quick before old Danny catches on to the bluff. Arr, Piper, blah, 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 blah. Find information about Sean. You know, I actually, I can turn in some good missions by chatting uh, chatting with some of these people. But for now, let's just run through. And here we are, walking into Diamond City. Finally, exciting. Ah, uh, finally, we're able to get lots and lots of things sold. Unfortunately, eating has become a bit of a problem, so I'm not exactly sure how I'm going to deal with that. And I'm tired from lack of sleep, so I might have to actually go outside, kill someone, and eat him or her in order to feed myself now that I've become a cannibal, which is a bit of an annoyance, but whatever. Anywho, let's talk a little bit about sympathy and empathy while I do some selling. Okay, so, we talked about empathy, we talked about sympathy, we got that kind of bit. You realize if you're sympathetic, you kind of, you're, you feel sorry for someone, and you agree with their cause, their problem. I'm sorry that happened to you, that sucks. Damn. Empathy, man, you are dealing with this problem, that sucks, but, okay, you know, like, I can understand where you're coming from, but I don't necessarily have to think, like, you're right. That looks exactly like uh, the person who you, you buy the spray and pray from. Excuse me. Anywho, so the situation that was going on with the sympathy, sympathy and empathy, and the reason why I kind of want to bring it up is because there is a lot of cases where I feel like, or when I say a lot of cases, let's be honest, I get really upset and annoyed when people don't really empathize in a discussion. And the reason why I get in that position is because you find yourself trying to communicate to someone and saying, hey, like, I am trying to understand why this certain person feels this way. So when you're in a discussion, you're saying, I want to get, you know, let's say why something crazy. Let's say it was somebody who is, let's take example. I'm, I'm going with an extreme point of view here. Let's say somebody who was so very pro-life that they were even anti-abortion when both the mother and the child were 100% going to die. So I know that's kind of, it's kind of a rough thing to, you know, bring up kind of a dangerous subject, but I'm thinking like that's a very extreme position because it's like, it doesn't matter if you, you, you can't save the kid and, and I need it to be something kind of extreme for this to work. You can't save the kid. And so it's like, why wouldn't you try to save the mom? All right. So an extreme position was saying completely zero abortion whatsoever. Okay. There we go. Did some selling, did some stuff. Let's do some stroll arounds and prepping some other things. Anyway, so that's a very strong position that a person would take and being empathetic to that would mean that you will listen to that person talk and go, you know, explain to me, you're like, where are you coming from? The person's like, oh, it's because let's say they had a religious reason. This, this art, like this religious reason, blah, 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 blah. And you could go, all right. So then you put yourself in their shoes. Where did they grow up? Why would they feel that this religious reason was strong enough? to damn two people to death kind of thing. It's like, and then as you continue to do that, like that behavior I find to be very valuable because it says, hey, I'm now getting why this person feels this way. They're religious, That's their, that pole is really moving around. It's very odd. They're religious and they, can I cure my um, urge to eat people? I can cure my dark cravings. <laughs> really? Wow, you can cure your and that's that. Anything else Interesting. You? Wow. Feeling sick. I'm gonna cure cure my radiation as well. So anyway, uh so that's the thought process is that if you can come then you when you realize that this person has a religious reason behind it, and you can empathize that the way they were raised, the where they grew up, that in their life very much so it's like they don't just have the opportunity to right. see other points of view they weren't ever educated through other forms and so they were very very stuck in education purely through the religious means 
that would have the potential of causing people to act in this extreme point of view about how even if no one can be saved, it's better to let people die. So there is a real value in being able to take those point of views and figure that out because when you're having this conversation with an individual who is this way, you know, just so very sure of their point of view that you can actually kind of pick up and understand better they're coming from and then later on even argue better with them so if someone needs a religious reason you know to change their mind you come to them with a religious reason or you come to them you know it's and it's that change and shift that's very important all right so we're still tired we've cured our need to be a cannibal that is a wonderfully beneficial thing to have i really appreciate that i mean Oh my gosh, we can fix my hair and get bald again. That could be nice. That's a wonderful thing to have fixed. I mean, it's pretty ridiculous how... Wow, we were at that position where we just... He only has 33 caps? Uh, that's not really worth it. So that means when we're out, you know, in the world, eating people is totally an effective way to exist. And since we're going to be running into people, we can totally just eat them alive. But... When we go into sure. towns and we find a doctor, we should take the opportunity to heal up because that's going to be very useful and so that we don't, you know, constantly find ourselves just nom nom nomming people uh, when we're in the town. So I think I think that's a good thing to avoid too. All right, let's get this final bit of cap selling out of the way. And then, uh, you know, we'll actually be done. Whew, that was hard to get out. Sympathy, empathy, all that kind of stuff. Thank you so much for watching. It was a total joy to have you here. If you liked what you saw, please leave a like. If you want to see more, hit the subscribe button underneath me. And of course, may the grand rise to each feet. The wind always be at your back. And the sunshine warmly on your sexy, sexy face. Dudes, see you later. Bye.